Thank you, Matt. U.S. farmland values have reached historic highs. KTVO's Jackson Saylor learned how the burden on farmers is being felt locally. Farmers, it's something so basic and so vital, yet very seldom attainable, and now more so than ever. Land. According to a recent New York Times article, farmland rates are up 12.4% nationally and are the highest they've been since 1970. The article cites factors like a robust housing market and low interest rates, among others. But Truman State University Ag Science professor Dr. Michael Seipel cites commodity prices as a key factor as well. And commodity prices are still very high now, which is helping to keep cropland values up even with rising interest rates. If, if uh, commodity prices drop along with those higher interest rates, then I think we will see um, some retraction in land prices. Others look at factors like the capability to do their jobs virtually since COVID and the quality financial investment that land is. Now, I, see, I think we're seeing a lot of people coming from the city that maybe their jobs are letting them through computers and that kind of stuff do their jobs online and be able to still do the same job but maybe do it from rural Missouri. And land has always shown a six, at least a 6% return you know, over the course of a lifetime. And that's a pretty safe investment. Uh, so I, you see a lot of people that aren't farmers uh, buying farm land um, as an investment. With the challenge of finding affordable land already a daunting one, especially for new farmers, these high rates make it nearly impossible. That's part of the reason that one Iowa man is donating some of his own farmland to the Iowa Sustainable Land Trust in hopes that the land could be used by an aspiring farmer. I would say it's nearly impossible unless they already have a, a family connection uh, to the land and the equipment. Um, you know, land prices any, are starting at, you know, three and four thousand dollars an acre and go up to 10 or 12, you know, depending on the location and the quality of the ground. Um, and uh, equipment is, is also extremely expensive. But even when it comes to renting land for young farmers, the price is still high. Just ask recent college grad and Heartland farmer Ethan Gooch, who currently rents land from his family. And, you know, a 22-year-old goes and knocks on their door uh, and tries to, to rent their farm. It's not, it, it's not likely. So I've had a real challenge, and I know several people my age have had a real challenge trying to find uh, land or rent to farm. Interest in the farming industry has not taken an overall decline, according to Dr. Seipel, who said it waxes and wanes, but does know farmers who may try to push their kids away from the family business. You know, I know farmers, older farmers, established farmers, um, you know, who say they wouldn't necessarily encourage their kids to pursue agriculture, pursue farming as an occupation. Straight ahead on Good Morning Heartland, a final check of your